Hey guys, it's me Crystal from Marching North and today I'm going to show you how to do punch needle embroidery. Let's get started. For today's tutorial, I'll be using the Ultra Punch, which is an embroidery punch needle, and I'll have it set to a stitch height of three. I'm using the largest size needle. You'll also need some regular embroidery floss. This is just DMC six strand embroidery floss. A pair of scissors. A threader for your punch needle. A no slip embroidery hoop. And I'm using a piece of weaver's cloth for my foundation fabric. This is one of the most popular fabrics to use for punch needle embroidery. Separate the rings of your embroidery hoop. Center your piece of weaver's cloth over the inner ring of the hoop. Press the outer hoop down over the inner hoop to secure the fabric. Partially tighten the screw at the top of the hoop and then start pulling the fabric tight all the way around. Tighten the screw a bit more and keep pulling the fabric until it's drum tight. Now it's time to thread the punch needle. Insert your threader into the tip of the needle. Push it all the way through until it comes out the other end. Insert the embroidery floss into the threader. Then pull the threader back all the way through the punch needle. Your punch needle is now halfway threaded. Next, you'll insert your threader into the eye of the needle and pull the floss through. Adjust the floss so you just have a little bit sticking out of the tip of the needle and you're ready to punch. To start punching, hold your needle straight up and down and you're going to push it down all the way through your fabric. Turn your hoop over and you're going to pull the end of the embroidery floss through to this side. Pull the floss back a bit so there's just a small amount sticking out, and then flip it back over and you're ready to continue punching. Carefully pull the needle up without raising it off of the fabric. Move forward about a needle's width and then punch again. Because this is going to be my outline stitches, I'm making them really close together. That helps keep the finished design neater. Here's what the loops look like so far. Keep your punch needle in the fabric and turn the entire hoop to turn the corner. You want to make sure the beveled side is facing in the direction that you're punching.
Now the outline is done. For the inside, we'll make the stitches a little bit farther apart. To fill in the shape, we're just going to punch around and around in a spiral until it's all the way filled in. Offset your stitches in kind of a brick pattern to avoid gaps. When you're finished punching, trim the embroidery floss even with the loops. Hold down the cut end of the floss with your finger and then pull the punch needle out. Trim down the long ends so they're even with the loops. Here's how the loops look from the side. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Stick around for more crafty tutorials and DIYs. Thanks for watching.